Well, hi well, there, hi there everybody. everybody. Got it, got it. I'm down. I'm gonna need gags. And I need, and I need jelly, jelly, jelly beans. beans. Oh, oh. New catalog. New catalog. Hello. Hello. I have like, I have, like no, no money. No money. In oh, so right bad. Now. It's so bad. Maybe I go hit up Maybe a bean fest. Maybe I go hit up a bean fest. I saw that was in the... I saw that was in the... Group type. Group type. No two time we were in no groups. No two time we were in groups. Dang. I need to focus on my task. I need task. to focus on my task. The way, everything, the way, everything, everything, will everything will be copacetic. copacetic. That's not the word I want to use. That's not the word I want to use. Also, I've been also, so good about the I've soda, been soda, so good about the soda but I've had such a but I've had such a stressful days two days that that I've up with soda. So I've down, down, so down, down to one soda a month. This is where we're at. Another Christmas. Another Christmas. Here. Christmas gear. Christmas gear. Christmas gear. Oh, what's up there? Oh, what's up there? Applause! 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 I love my flunky back. I love my flunky back. I want this. I want this. Alright. Alright. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. We are gonna we go. We are gonna go. Dreamland. Dreamland. Oh, have you served oh, have you served received for a minute? minute. Around for if a minute. we can find if some jelly beans. Find some jelly beans. Also, I ordered dinner also, tonight. Also, I ordered dinner tonight. I was really craving pizza. I was really craving so pizza. That's, that's gonna so show up here soon. That's gonna show up here soon. 51, What is this monkey running this up to me monkey running up to me for? What do you want, Mr. Monkey? What do you want, Mr. Monkey? I need to get into that. I need to get into that. Five oh five oh whatever. Server. Whatever. Server. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. This one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. I also have two HQ up, up, up on my phone. Y'all! Y'all! Give me the beans! Give me the beans! No. No beans. No beans. No beans? No beans? <laughs> six six Inch ribbons, girl. Inch ribbons, girl. Alright, I'm out of here. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm gonna help him trolley. I'm gonna help him trolley. We're just gonna ride this We're for a bit. Ride this for a bit. Get some jelly beans. Where's Stephanie? Where's Stephanie? There's an echo. Stephanie, there's an echo. Okay, tell me if that fixes the echo here. God, I fucking hate this game. I'm actually having a real rough week, honey. <laughs> it's not great. Ah, oh, come on. I hate this game so much. Turn around. What do I need you? I need you. I hear. We're just gonna spam the film. I want out of this game. ASAP. I hate that game so much. Hold the. Oh. Yeah, that's why my stuff ain't balanced. I forgot. <laughs> then field offices kicked our butts, so my gags are all over the place. I have 18 jelly beans to my name. Oh god. I don't have the memory for this right now! God damn it. This was down here. This was up here? Up here. Up here? Right there. Right here? Yeah. Nope. Well, that's over here. Oh my god, why is a stupid matching game giving me anxiety?
Was that the pie? Oh no, I hear a Discord ping. I hope it's just me being live. Is that what's up here? Yeah. I'm not gonna finish this memory game. No, <laughs> it was right there. No more Ecker, we're good. Oh no, what's been going on? You can text me. It's just, um, work has been difficult on me. Um, yeah, just work is rough. And then all last week, I didn't get home until like seven. So I basically, I'd come home, I'd eat, and I'd go to bed. And it's just super, it's normally we're under pressure because it's the end of the year. Right now we're under pressure because and under it's the end of the year and I can't do my job because the system keeps breaking. And because I'm the one that helped build the system, I'm the one responsible for repairing the system. And between all this stuff and the training, I just I don't have enough time to do everything I need to do in a day and it's all on me. And my direct supervisor, but we're doing the best we can and it's just it's rough. And also, uh, I'm going to California next week, and I have not paid for uh, housing of my car or an Uber. So I'm super stressed about having funds for that now. And I have no money in Toontown. The one place where I'm financially- well, I'm actually really financially stable at Animal Crossing. So, yeah, just, just life. Why did you pull so far to the left? We are not landing in that pink. No matter how hard I try, we are not gonna land there. Oh, 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 oh! No more belts, no more belts! Yeah! Land in the pink. <laughs> right? Dude, I would love that. And then this weekend, I'm having Christmas with my boyfriend's family. And part of that includes uh, helping us, helping his grandmother move in- I hate this goddamn game! Into uh, his bedroom, so he's not gonna have a bedroom anymore. I need you to jump. You know what, we're just gonna- Oh yeah, work that camera. <laughs> Daddy! Don't swallow your treat like that, dude. Okay. This is how this is gonna go? Really? Give me some pineapples! I forgot that pineapples were the fruit in Donald's Dreamland, if I'm being honest. Oh, fuck me. But hey, the new Witcher season comes out on Friday. I'm super excited, and I'm gonna make Ricky watch it with me nonstop until we finish it. Otherwise, I'm gonna get way ahead of him, and he's gonna be the loser left behind. Because when I watch a show, I don't just watch an episode. I fucking binge that shit. Fuck. Did I just get a perfect? Yeah! <laughs> Team 10 always makes me feel better, man. This is my Christmas game. She said, like, a liar. Because she plays it several times throughout the year. Also, I'm having a soda. I've been so good about my soda intake, but I've decided that I'm going to allow myself one soda a month. And this is the one soda for the month. But something to look forward to. Just focus on that when we make it. Have it every week. Dude, I'm so excited. And then, um... This is the first thing I've ever seen Henry Cavill in. I know he played Superman, but I'm not big on the DC... But I saw that he's also gonna, uh, uh, wanted to be part of the Amazon's uh, Mass Effect series. Because Mass Effect's making a show, and I'm super excited for that. I hope it turns out well, otherwise I'm gonna, it's gonna break my goddamn heart. Okay, up is to jump. That's how I have the controls. I remember when this first, this game first came out. Oh my god, we were, s me and my brother were so excited. This is still probably one of my favorite games, even though I suck at it. I've never been good at platformers. 
Which is why I used to get so heated over Mario. My mom would have to beat the level for me. <gasps> I almost missed that. That wasn't close enough. Fuck me, I guess. I love that I can shoot them through the metal bar. Hit him! Fuck. Ba bam I like how I'm shooting the cogs, which are meant to represent adulthood and the duties that come with adulthood. I'm basically shooting myself. I'm gonna get the first time. Oh, fuck, I didn't- okay. <laughs> I was like, I didn't manage that well. Do I manage anything well? This chaos is killing me. Butterfingers. And I'm also really bummed. My sister-in-law makes this really good peppermint bark. She made it for us for Christmas last year! She's not making it this year. Ah! I second guessed myself! I'm not making it in time, damn it. On a better note, I'm on my last one. That's awesome! I was so worried when you helped me move that I was gonna wreck your physical therapy, but I'm glad I didn't. Oh, and I hear Ricky's seriously considering moving away with you and Jace. Especially since he's losing his bedroom. Mr. Flunky, can you move? Thank you, sir. Fuck off, Penny Pincher. Flunkies are still my favorite cogs. I really want a Flunky backpack. I've wanted a Flunky backpack since I was 12. And I have never been able to find one! If anyone can find one, let me know. You'll make me the happiest person ever. There goes my fucking perfect. I'm only gonna miss one though, it looks two. Nope, I spoke too soon, damn it. <sighs> I used to be okay at this game. Now I'm shit. And there's no reason for it. Cause it's just literally get yourself in the circle. Especially at these ones. It's cause they do the figure eights in these ones. Toontown Central, I'm all about this game. I was in it! You son of a bitch, I was in it! Okay, you're a figure eight. Fuck you. This child this game is beating me. Are you gonna move at the last second? Don't play games with me, you rings! Fuck. Okay. Okay. You're a figure eight. Totally in that goddamn ring. Fuck you, game. <laughs> uh, she said my ankle is actually stronger than my left ankle now. No worries. It'll give Jason a chance to get the money to actually move next year. Can I back look? A chunky? <laughs> no, a flunky backpack. Flunkies are uh, a cog in this game. They these cogs actually. These are flunkies, and they're a backpack. No, Mr. Flunky! Don't get stuck on the wall. No, Mr. Flunky! You're faster than me! Fuck! No! Put me down! I usually play with the music off, so this is- No! A nice change. I'm not perfecting this maze. And especially- No! Because <laughs> I keep getting stuck on the wall. Oh, run. He's gonna get us. Oh, we're trapped. <laughs> oh, no. You put me right back down where you- You guys are losers. 
fighting this alcove. Well, at least I got half. A little over half. I hate this goddamn game. Oh, and that's how we're gonna start? Really? Really? Really, Toon Town? You're gonna put a goddamn spider at the- No! No! I hate my life, I wanna die! I got no iPhone! I have two bananas. <laughs> I hate this game! At least in Clash Corporate it gives you an option to skip the shitty games. So, but this one it doesn't, so I can't skip this shitty game. Christmas, by the way. A washer and dryer? <laughs> An affordable washer and dryer? Maybe some hope? Some jelly beans? In Toontown? I don't actually really care for jelly beans, if I'm honest. Let me go sit in this little mush pile over here while I look for a thingy. Hey, my pizza's on the way. I've never had CC's pizza. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I need a five-story building. Wow, the five stories are filling up real fast. Okay, I found one. Bomb Canyon. Well, this way. Ooh, yeah! Or you know what? Instead of a stuffed animal, you can get me some more pop vinyls for my collection. I only have Anna and Handsome Jack. My godmother used to make uh, baked good baskets for us for Christmas. Oh my god, I love snacking on those. My, and I just realized my shirt's inside out. Force way. Weird. I don't know what I was just thinking. Okay, I'm looking for Dippy Angel Lemon Doodle. Mr. Bosser, what an awesome name. I gotta wrap Jace's present. I have it. Ricky's gotta order yours still. Ah! I didn't mean to be here. Oops. <gasps> yes, Persephone cookies! Pop. Borderlands pop? I'm down. Um, I want pop vinyls of all my favorite characters, honestly. If you could find a Mass Effect, like, Garrus pop vinyl, that would be fucking awesome. I wonder, do they have those? Now I'm curious.
not seeing any. <gasps> they have a jaw. I don't see Garrus. <gasps> they do have a Garrus one! That's what I want. I want Garrus. Uh, G-A-R-R-U-S. And then his last name is Vicarian. Um, which I don't know how to spell off the top of my head. It's been a minute. Where is this guy? Halfway through the street. Hello. What are some of my favorites? I don't really. I usually just grab what's cheap and easy from the store. I don't even remember anymore. Are we going? Nope, you're- uh... We're full, sir? We're waiting for Dancing Crocodile? Get good, scrub? Chief Snaggleberry. You're too little to be here! Go! You're full. I the last one, and I was always still there on Friday because that's when I get paid. Alright, I get paid next Thursday, and I'm like, I need to uh, pay for my parking stuff then. But since I bought Jace's present, Ricky's buying your present. I just need to get him to order it. I still have to order yours and Jace's present. What would Ricky want? Ricky would like food and, like, a Steam gift card. Pro that's probably the best for him. Steam gift card. We've been playing a lot of, uh, we plan on playing a lot of magic. Um. The box set of Witcher. <laughs> Wait, what was that in response to? I'm only five foot okay. What did I say? Oh, let's check out you. You're trapless. Hey, me too. You're dropless. Lame. Okay, this AC can come off now. Because I'm cold. Yeah, Ricky is really easy. I don't think he's in this stream. So what I got him for Christmas was he has all these swords. Um, the, and they're fucking awesome. But they just sit in a box in his dresser because he has no way to display them. So for Christmas, I bought him racks to display the swords on. Of course, he can't use them now because he doesn't have a bedroom. But when he moves in here, we're going to put him on lower. Oh, no! The guy that walked in the elevator was too young. He was only at 57 laugh. I wish you and Jace would play this game with me because I Toontown is my fucking childhood. And anytime I'm feeling down, I just boot this up. Although Clash Corporate is pretty fantastic. I have that on both computers. I only have two ten on the laptop. Okay, where's this chicka at? Oh, did they take the thing down? Yeah, this is the one I'm in. No worries, meet me by the pond. Me, OMG, I know why it keeps changing. We are. I don't understand what you're saying. <coughs> do, do, there we go. You're not a crocodile. I know you're okay. I'm also gonna meet Griggy's grandma for the first time this weekend. I've never met her before. But when we were kids, um, I remember they took a long trip out here um, to visit her, and they brought me back my mom back a shot glass. Make yourself at home. I have phrases. Um. Oh snap, let's go. Anyone training anything? Looks like that dude's training drop, but just to be 
Sure. Drop and lower. I have so many tune buildings I needed to take over. Why am I out of sync? To be honest, job is literally four XPLO. Oh no! We're missing somebody. I just want to up my sound. Gotcha. It was, I was freezing all weekend. I was wearing like two outfits, so cold. And then today I'm like, I'm hot. My hands are freezing. I have poor circulation in my hands. I get that from my grandmother. So I used to have fingerless gloves, but I lost them in the move. Drop and lower is so much more accurate now. It's meh. Although, I... We say it's cold here. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I go back to California. Cause Texas doesn't get oh, except for when if Houston was frozen. <laughs> but Texas doesn't get cold for the most part in my experience. So oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh shit. I just kind of for a second there, I forgot I ordered pizza. I'm jamming. I usually have the music off, so this is nice. My food will be here in 13 to 19 pizza. And the, the, okay, the thing was, I didn't specifically want pizza, but I was like, you know what, pizza sounds fine. What I wanted was bocce bits, or garlic knots, is what some places call them. And nowhere I could find these things except for Papa John's. And I'm not a big fan of Papa John's. Well, I have a furnace for a husband who's been being useful during this cold time. West Texas does, apparently. Dude. I felt like this past weekend, Ricky was colder than I was in the bed, so he was taking my heat. Although he does have that massive fucking weighted blanket. But... The past couple days, I haven't turned on the AC or anything. Um, I think I've left the fan on. And I wake up and it's like the perfect temperature, so I've had such a hard time getting out of bed. I like how we're all like bluey, greeny colors. Have you guys looked at houses again? I still want pictures, ma'am. This is really bringing up my mood. I'm glad that, yeah, shake that little butt. <laughs> the two-tone is really picking up my mood right now. I am having a blast. Hey, you made me tiny! My arms are gone! There we go. How dare you hurt Santa. Santa did not okay this. I don't think I said thank you last time. Ah, oh, nice, back to fool. The field offices are so freaking hard. It's ridiculous. Zach and I failed to. Zach failed the third one we were in, and me and my mom survived. Old Team Jace, the cats, and our wool blanket. It's nice. Pictures of a how of the houses you guys were looking at. My mom's also in the process of buying a house. They put a bid on one. They didn't get it, and thank God they didn't, because it was a very old house that needed work. I don't think she realizes how much work it needed, but uh, they're still trying to get a house too. But they're looking at Modesto, California. I grew up in Manteca, California, so I don't- all I remember about Modesto is like it was a- it wasn't as bad as Stockton, but you still had to be careful where in Modesto you went. And that means nothing to you because you grew up here in Texas. You know nothing about Stockton and all the fucking Lion King memes of that dark place and Simba and Mufasa looking over, he's like, that's Stockton, you must never go to Stockton. Those are the memes I grew up with. <laughs> and then you got Riverbank and Rippin' and the snobby rich kids. No, low crime rate. Low crime rate because they're two square feet. I say that and I grew up in a hella tiny town. 
You stop looking for now? So does it mean you guys are staying in, um, staying close at least for another six months? Because isn't that when your lease is up? I've been seeing some really nice houses. My new drive uh, home from work sometimes takes me down uh, residential, and there's some massive fucking houses that are really pretty. I'm like, I w one day I will afford such a beautiful house. It's also right across the street from a high school and an eater. What is an intermediate school? I, I I pass by this every day. What is an intermediate school? I grew up. You had preschool. Oh no, sorry. You had kindergarten, preschool. No preschool. No preschool, kindergarten elementary school, and then high school. I've heard of middle schools. I think that's from 6th to 8th grade. I'm not 100% sure. But what the fuck is an intermediate school? I'll fuck them up. Don't let them eat them tissues. I also still have lived here for three, almost four years. Don't know the difference between a United and an independent school district. Because I grew up in a united school district, and everywhere out here is fucking independent school districts. We're waking, waiting for Ricky's final decision. Yeah, he's bad at decision making. Although he has been really nice about it. Like, he came over last Thursday, and he was with me until Saturday. And I, Thursday night, I was just, it was my payday, so I was paying bills, and I was, I was just awful mood. I was like, hey, pick what you want for dinner because I cannot make any decisions. And so he made the decision for me and it was so nice. Naughty kid school? Oh, like, I was about to say like California Day, but you don't, or Mantica Day, but you don't know what that is because uh, that's where <laughs> It was called Mantica Day. And now it's actually legit high school in Mantica now, but. Well, that's where the kids who got suspended or expelled from their- or who got expelled from their current school. That's where they went. Um, in my high school. No. Okay. Why do they say intermediate, though? That's like middle? I would think- I feel like that's kind of like middle school. Weird. Couple goals when Ricky makes decisions for me because I'm in such a bad mood. <laughs> Hi, baby. He pissed me off, though. We, uh, when we went, we went Christmas shopping for some stuff. Um, Daddy, hi, baby. And uh, I forgot to get regular tape. We just ended up getting double-sided tape. I was like, fuck. But I was telling, I was complaining about it. He's like, just put the tape on it like this. I was like, yeah, but if you touch the box, it's going to be sticky. He's like, who fucking cares? So we get back at him. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. That little, like, twisted, like, wrapping paper thing? That's his present, and it's completely covered in double-sided tape. That was a big fuck you to my boyfriend. <laughs> no, he's great. He puts up a lot of shit for me. Jace would do what? Ricky literally just walked around the store with me. <laughs> Although I did make him sign, um, some Christmas cards. Um... Where's my bow? There it is. Yeah, that's the only thing he did as far as the Christmas shopping did. Uh, it was when we got back home, he signed all the Christmas cards that I told him to sign. And then he was supposed to mail them out yesterday. But I had to wrap them. I had to pick them. Actually, now that I think about it, what? I don't think I actually bought gifts at Walmart. I just bought the wrapping paper and the stuff to do that. Sabotage. <laughs> Dude, I had my uh, best friend in high school. She took so long, like, our birthdays were like five days apart. And I remember she took so long to come over to get her birthday, her birthday present that every day she was gone, I would put another layer of wrapping paper around it. So by the time she got there, she had this massive box to unwrap, but inside was just a tiny little pop figure thing. And I, I got her like a pop figure from, I think it was Black Butler. But <laughs> she was so pissed at me. Oh, good times. Jace is the same, I don't know. It feels safer in public with Jace. I feel that way at night with Ricky. Because I don't really feel threatened in the day. But at night I do, especially being a woman. And so going out at night with Ricky by me on my side, I feel a lot safer. Especially knowing that he's a third degree black belt. So... 
My boyfriend is my weapon. <laughs> Let's look for another five story. Um, boop. Okay, so we need to go to Kaboom Cliffs. And Lullaby Lane. Which I think is in Minnie's Melody Land. Yeah. No, where's Lullaby Lane? Oh, it's gotta be Dreamland to M Minnie's Melody Land. Mm, stupid. Tokyo Ghoul? I'm gonna add it to my list. Add this to my list of things to get Seth one day. Lullaby Lane. I knew it landed to Minnie's Melody Land. What are you looking at? Queen Ziggy twiddle dust. Fun fact, I had to get this name approved. I came up with the Queen Ziggy because I was like, yeah, David Bowie. And then I was like, okay, what is, like, sounds like a star? I was like, okay, dust. Like, stardust, like, which what our channel points are called. And then I needed a name before that, so I just scrolled through the thing and I was like, twiddle dust. That sounds perfect. Did they go without me? Motherfucker, close the group! That's just fucking rude. Alright, now we need to go back to the burr. But first, let's get on um, Bounce Burrow. Bur bur See, with Jace, if someone tried to hurt me, I wouldn't have to react because he'd already be a motherfucker and be a bloody pulp. Yeah, but for me, I'd also have to worry about the consequences because it's not. It's not like assault. Just typical assault. It's a uh, assault with a deadly weapon when Ricky gets involved. But he's also very. Just when he gets angry, people tend to back off because he's terrifying when he's angry. <laughs> I also have noticed that when I'm out in public, not so much when I was a kid, but now I like. I don't exactly have resting bitch face, but the aura I give off is like, don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> or maybe that's just been my mood lately. Okay, I'm looking for Lady Marigold Glitter Mouth. Mooth. Mooch. Lady Glitter. I swear to god, if someone else closes another group, I need buildings! 74 of them. Hello, I have made it! Okay, you're 76. You're kinda low. 63, you're even lower. I'm gonna have to carry in this building, y'all. Yeah, that's how my dad is, being a 10th degree. But I also don't really worry about them. People don't really fuck with us. Or me, specifically. I don't know if Ricky gets fucked with, but... I hope he doesn't. I'd like to keep my boyfriend safe and out of prison. <laughs> I don't think that's too much to ask. Because ain't nobody gonna catch those hands. Right? Uh... Are you Jordan? You people are terrible. That's not the person that said they were gonna join us. 76 more. Oh, you are Jordan.
Well, the people at Huntsville test web agents, you know that. Yeah, I do. I only had to defeat 800 cogs with me. No way! <laughs> I have been working on this task for four years. These people seem toxic and stupid. These people? No. We're just talking. Uh, Otis Clash Corporate. Another tune town game. Yes. I actually like Clash Corporate better, I think. not you that's a toxic neighbor you're a toxic dog gag tracks aren't a thing Yeah, the story behind why for um, this is a Christmas game to me is when we were kids, this was our Christmas present one year. Back when Disney still owed it, you'd have to pay to subscribe. Um, my mom bought this as a Christmas present one year for us. And so the first time we ever played it was Christmas Day. So for me, Toontown equals Christmas. See, I despise talking to people on games because they're already dicks in my opinion. That's fair. But Toontown is a child's game, so it's severely censored. Okay. My pizza will be here in two minutes. I'm also trying to become a uh, Toontown partner. That'd be awesome. I also got an email about a sponsorship deal that I don't 100% understand. Why is my adopted sister texting me? Uh oh. I didn't get her anything for Christmas. I'm such a shitty sister. I got my brother something but not my adopted sister. 
It's okay, she uses my Hulu for free. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I will figure out something for her. I'm a horrible sister. Oh shit, no, wait, hang on. Let me do both. I feel so bad right now. But she didn't tell anyone what she wanted. Everybody asked her so many times what she wanted for Christmas and she didn't say shit, but I know what she wants. She always wants alcohol. <laughs> I'll send her like a wine basket. I can ship a wine basket to Oregon, right? Teddy bear. Alright, is my mic level high enough today? Because I was watching one of my old streams um, to try and figure out, like, am, is there lag, skipped frames, audio issues? Uh, I periodically do that, especially because my brother's been helping me with that lately. And the last two streams, my audio was really loud unless I was yelling, I noticed. Or really uh, quiet unless I was yelling. Oh, my food was dropped off. be an adult because I have this whole fucking pizza and no one to share it with. Uh, these are not bocce bits. What are they? They look like pigs in a blanket. What the hell is this? Up, 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 up. Ah oh, shit balls. I didn't mean to close that. Give me back my HQ. Alright, how do we do this? How do I do this? Oh, I need a mouse pad. I really need a mouse pad. You can give me a mouse pad for Christmas. I want preferably one that goes across my whole desk, but a small little square one like this one over here would be fine too. That's what I need for Christmas. Oh shit, no! Oops. My bad. Didn't I get marinara sauce too? It smells good. Can dogs have pepperoni? Pretty good, whatever it is. It does need marinara or something, though. It's very dry. Ranch or anything. I don't think I paid for it though, so I think it was just a uh, free extra, so I'm not gonna complain. this pizza that Evelyn said is gross. I'm gonna be sad if it is. The pieces are tiny. Oh my god, they're super thin. 
This is the thinnest pizza I've ever seen. This tastes like food court pizza. Not terrible, but probably worth what I paid. I didn't pay a lot for this pizza, so. It's super thin! <laughs> I haven't been paying attention if they've been talking. Magnet worked? Also, why would you lure if everyone's sounding? Nice and hit. Chuddy, I gave you bacon when I got home. Cause he was such a good boy today. I came home and there was no potty mess. Huh, Teddy? God, you need a haircut. You can't see his hair's in his way. Bring this mouse over here. field office and it broke my goddamn heart. Always in the end credits I got a bow. Bam! Look at me. Styling. Are you dropping this building? Oh, excuse me. It's not bad pizza. There's definitely better pizza places out here. Although I try and stay away from like mom and pop pizza shops because their cheese is so weird. It fucks up my stomach. Let's go grab some gags. One hand. Obo? From Star Trek Discovery? Such a fucking nerd. <gasps> Captain Pike. I would love a Captain Pike pop vinyl if those exist. I'm just thinking of stuff I want instead of what I need. <laughs> Which is different than my Christmas was last year because my Christmas was last year <coughs> was basically a grocery list. <laughs> We're getting there, we're getting there. Alright. Building. Join group. Okay, I need to go to Fizzle Field. Damn, people need corporate raiders apparently. And then I need to go to Dreamland. There's a heck of people on right now. 2,200 something? It's a lot. What will buy a I'm looking for Master Flip.
Um. Okay, uh, Lady Lizzie Fizzlehopper. Why is everything so dark all of a sudden? Oh, because there's a cell bot field office over here. Oh my god, don't get in that fight. Where is this reindeer at? Did I really walk right past it? So that two minutes ago. I'm stupid. Oh, it's a two star annex. I can't handle that. I can barely handle a one. Uh -oh. oh, excuse me. You saw me run by, why didn't you say anything? I'm at the entrance. So I baked cookies for a work party yesterday and there were two tubs full of cookies. One of my cookies took a whole tub. That's because your cookies are so fantastic. Who's someone else in this group? Luzin. Luzin. These people. You know what? They didn't even... Uh-uh, I'm leaving this group. They said... Mm, nope. Mm -mm. Can't deal with stupid people. Not today. Join group. Just me. Alright, we're going to Kaboom Cliffs. Pajama place. Which should be on the other side. Yeah. Sleepy little horse. Oh, it's so sweet. This is gonna sound really sad and emotional, and I don't mean it to come out that way because my grandma was fucking awesome, but my grandma never baked us cookies. But my grandma used to make cheesy potatoes for the holidays, and they are still my all time favorite dish in existence. And I really. I'm supposed to be looking for people. <laughs> Where am I going? Um, and I really miss it because I can't make it myself. It's a very expensive dish to make, number one. And number two, it never tastes right. Even um, her husband, after she passed, he made it one year for Thanksgiving for me. And it was good. I really liked it, but it, it wasn't the same as my grandmother's. And it broke my heart. Yeah, this is where I need to be. Oh, look, we match. Hmm. 
a cute little dog. I hope you didn't need that invasion. You're jobless. Howdy. We're waiting on Quacky. All of us are 100 plus left. You fake uniter. out loud. That's my favorite one. Reminds me of, uh, Brigadier General Jack of Neil. I don't have it anymore? There's no way! Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, my grandma on my dad's side passed away when I was really young. Um, and then my grandma on my mom's side, um, Probably posh is the right word, but my grandma wouldn't really make stuff for- He's creepily watching us. Glare him down. He's gonna hide in the corner. You creepy horse! Stranger danger! <laughs> um, but my grandma would, um, set over sleepovers and we would make stuff like pigs in a blanket, or rip your floats, Papa Murphy's pizza, Oh my god! <laughs> I'm at a stalker in two town, y'all! You need a hug. <laughs> Gags for you, gag- what? This isn't what I'm looking for. It's okay. Who can't take the heat? Stay out of the kitchen, please don't bother me. Oh, we're just gonna do all of our phrases? Bye, Felicia! Go, quick! Oh, he's gonna be that asshole. Go, 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 go! Oh, he came back! <laughs> Creep! <laughs> He's just watching us! Stranger. Uh. Danger in TTR now? Aw. Oh. Teddy, I just dropped something. Come here. Eat the ham. Good oh boy. I don't think Toontown will let me say stalker. That's why I'm saying stranger danger. Okay, don't eat the cords. Just eat the ham. 
I love. Oh, you know what? I know our goal is 200 followers to do a cooking stream, but I might just do one in my new kitchen just because it's so fancy and I love it. What is our follower count at right now? <clears throat> <clears throat> How do I see that? <clears throat> we have 165 followers. I forgot I have a verbal control. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, you can go away now. Because of how sad this pizza is, the food court pizza, I feel like it's gonna be just, it's gonna taste exactly the same the next day. So the least there's that. Wait, did an ambulance tracer invasion start? That was fast. Mm -hmm. We're all hella high. Look at this laugh. Ugh. Do, do, do. Yeah, get him, boys and girls. It's such a jovial music in the background. You want up, Teddy Bear? Come on. I put the food away, so if that's what you want. Yeah, that's what you want. I knew it. I'm on to your games, Theodore. Excuse me, can you not dial my phone number? The phone's not on mute. It should be because I'm streaming, but it's not. What are you doing, dog? I'm gonna pass. This this should kill him. The fairy dust. I completely forgot until I said dust earlier <clears throat> that our channel points are called Stardust. So that was a little fun. A little memory. Keep grabbing the wrong mouse because I have them both over here. The one for the streaming computer and one for the laptop. Because there's no mouse pad over there. I was using my tax, oh, oh excuse me, the, the folder that my taxes came in last year. <laughs> oh my God, I have hiccups now. I guess that's my punishment for drinking soda after a month. But my, I came home and I forgot to put my snap on the fridge yesterday, which is what I've been drinking instead of soda. And so I was like, I really want something to drink and I've had so much water today. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna drink one of my boyfriend's Pepsis. I bought him like a 15 pack for when he's over here. Because just because I'm not drinking soda doesn't mean he shouldn't have to. And normally I can resist the temptation, but today I just needed something. And today sucked anyway, so I'm allowing myself one soda a month. So this is my one soda for December. Luna's trying to snuggle you through my phone. Oh, Luna! I love her so much. One day, Evelyn's gonna turn around and she's gonna find that Ev Luna just disappeared because uh, I swapped her out with Teddy. <laughs> she is the softest cat I have ever met. She's just so precious. I love her so much. And my car's name Luna. It's just perfect. She'll hide in my car <laughs> and I'll bring her home. <clears throat> oh, lately I've been thinking that I want to get another pet, but I'm like... I've been put off on it because I'm like, if Ricky moves in here, then he's bringing Jasper and or Mojo. And Jasper is his cat, Mojo's his dog. So I'll have essentially two pets anyway. But that's a while down the line. Oh. Actually, you think your guys' lease is up in July, right? So that means you'd be moving in around my birthday. 
Happy birthday. You now have to face your fears of living with someone again. Which is so weird, because growing up, I always thought I'd be too paranoid to live alone, because I scare really easily. But I actually really like living alone, which is why I'm having such a hard time. Like, I'll be talking to Ricky, and I'll think, like, oh, when you move in, we're gonna do this, and this is how things are gonna be. And then I start thinking about it further, I'm like, I don't think I'm ready. But I'll also be in somewhere completely different mind space six months from now, so. Fingers crossed that I'm ready for that. <laughs> you wanna switch Ludo for Teddy? Really? I give you a day, and you'll be begging me to come get this shithead. Hi, oh, Teddy Bear. Ha, oh, baby. And Ricky... <laughs> Ricky's not looking forward to having Teddy all next week. Because when I go over this weekend, I'm leaving Teddy because uh, Ricky watches him while I'm out of town. But Teddy likes Ricky more than me. Literally, when Ricky was here this past weekend, Teddy was all up on him and completely ignored the fuck out of me. I'm like, fuck you, dude. I went and bought him treats because we were out of treats. I bought him some bacon strips. Nope, still wanted fucking Ricky. That's right, I'm talking about you. Come here, Teddy. Come here. Chat, look at this poor little face. He needs such a haircut. Come here. Why are you running away from me? Is it because I was talking shit? Look at him. He can't see. He needs a haircut. Grandma's paying to get his haircut for Christmas. That's his Christmas present. And I am investing in a dog door for him for Christmas. Huh, baby. Okay, can we not take my shirt off? I can't need that. Hmm. You are soft, though, with all your hair. And your beard's wet. You were drinking some water, huh? You were drinking water, huh, baby? Teddy won't jump up on my gecko tank. That's true. He'll just piss all over your entire apartment and drop some turds for you. Ooh. You okay, baby? That was a hiccup. Damn, that was hella cream pies. It was not that serious, y'all. It was so nice to get home at a reasonable time today, too. I left work at four for the first time in like three weeks. It was so enjoyable. I like how we're not saying anything. We're just getting this building done. Scruffy tatters, yeah. About every six months, I get him shaved as low as they can shave his hair. Um, and then six months later, this is what he looks like. Although, when my mom was here in August, she had him cut, so... August, September, October, November, December. So this is four months this time. Teddy, your hair is starting to grow faster, dude. I miss my mom. And they were buying a house to put a wrench in things because my stepdad was telling me that they planned on coming out here for spring break because they've never been to my place in Texas. My mom's been here twice now, but uh, my stepdad and my stepbrother and my mom have never been here. And my mom's never seen my new place because I've only lived here for a month. Actually, almost exactly a month and a couple days. Um, <coughs> and I think they'll really like this new place compared to the other one because the other one was just... Evelyn knows. It was trash. But it was... Typical, my first apartment living away from home. My first time living away from my mom. So, I guess that was to be expected. Are we sounding? Am I luring? What are we doing? But this apartment is really nice. I really like it. I miss my mom and my brother. Yeah, I feel that. But for me, at this point, it's... It's hard, but I'm reassured by the fact that I know I'm going to see my brother every once a year and his wife. Because every year for Thanksgiving, I go out to South Carolina. I use, because in October or September, depending on how the days fall, I get three paychecks. That third paycheck always goes to buy me a plane ticket. So no matter what, I'll always see him at least once a year. And then my mom and my stepdad and my stepbrother. This year I ended up seeing that I went out there in May. And then I went out there again in July. Uh, so I saw them twice this year. Which is more than I... This was actually the first time I had went to back to California. It was back in May. Um, it was the first time since I... It was the first time going back to California since I moved to Texas. Mm. 
So I did get to see them twice, but this is the first time, and so I see Zach more frequently and my sister-in-law than I do them. And I, my sister, Rose, I saw her in July and May, because she they drove down from Oregon to California, because it's only like a nine-hour drive, so it's a lot more reasonable for them to go visit, So, but they go visit more often than I do. Oh, girl, I am not either. Especially if Ricky can't get his schedule change. Although, we did briefly talk about, like, how we see the next six months going. And our, at least in my head, from what I understand, the plan is he moves in with you guys until you leave. You guys leave, he moves in with me. And he gets a job on an oil rig, which means I will hardly see him. But when I do get to see him, hopefully it'll be a period of time where we can take a road trip out to come see you guys. Oh yeah? What's his new job? Or what's his job now? Sorry. Semantics. Why are we juggling? I'm the one that needs help. Health. But I also don't know where he's at in the job spectrum. I know he, if he moves in with you guys, he's gonna try and get the job at the steakhouse. But when he moves in with me, I don't know what he's gonna do. Cause I think his ultimate goal is to become a firefighter, but I don't know how close he is to that goal. Oops, it worked out. He works at HEB as a curbside bagger. One of my coworkers was telling me that HEB jobs are really good jobs. Go for Brandon. Hey, maybe when he graduates high school, he can move in with you and Jason your new house too. Go to college out there. Transfer to an HEB nearby. Oh, we're in high order. Why did you use hypno goggles? You're gonna cancel my lure. Okay, you didn't cancel my lure, thank god. Ear. Da, 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 da. Hmm. And he's a hard worker too, so I imagine he'll be going up in no time. No, oh, that's not what I meant to say, but okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I like Fuzzy Muffin. They're good peoples. On to the next building. Made cheese balls all day? That's adorable. We all instantly open our books. Time to go. Look at us! Oh, I was a little lagging, but we were all almost in sync. That would have been great. Alright, let's get gags. And then we'll go look and see where the next building is. Lightly wait my turn. Boop. And this is another reason why I like Clash Corporate better. One button, done. Alright, I'm out of here. <sighs> oh, you made cheese balls. Oh, you both made cheese balls. Cheese balls good. Cheese balls good. Five story. Join group. Just me. Okay, gulp, gulch. Oh, it's a speech chat only, and it's Pajama Place, which leads to the HQ. So up this way. I'm looking for Maggie, Miss Bubbles, Fizzlepop, and Platina? 
That's how you say it. Lucky Skywalker. Ah! I don't want to fight you, fat man. Little fat man. Hello, Maggie! You're Maggie, right? Yeah. Howdy! No messages. Cool. Hey! Hi there! We all match. No! I need a new Christmas outfit! <laughs> God, I feel like it's so much- it should be so much later than it is because of how my schedule's been lately. It's not even 7 o'clock yet, and it's so nice. In the past two days, like, when I've got- when my alarm's gotten- I've woken up before my alarm. Like, two minutes before my alarm. But I don't want to get out of bed because I'm at the perfect temperature and it just feels so gosh darn nice. Oh, so yesterday I asked my boss, like, hey, can I work the 8 to 5 schedule? And so I did that and said just because I didn't want to get out of bed. I fixed it today, but... Battle. We can do this! Two cats and two deer. Let's go! <laughs> uh, we got somebody that's two people dropless. No, everyone's dropless but me. And I'm trapless, so. I made goat cheese balls and I don't know what kind of cheese. I do not like goat cheese, so. Yeah, I had this horrible foods teacher in high school um, who would made us do a cheese tasting and a milk tasting and she made us taste everything and I didn't like milk I threw up like six times that day and she didn't care she's like you have to try it otherwise I'm failing you great part was three months later while I was still in her class I was working because I was an umpire in high school I was working for MYSA which is Manteca Youth Softball Association so it was the kids that weren't in high school yet so like middle schoolers softball team and she was the coach for one of that and she thought oh shit this is one of my students I got my team's gonna win no problem she'll she'll cheat for me I didn't cheat for anybody but I was more strict than I'd ever been with my calls on her team specifically she was pissed and after the game she pulled me aside she's like what the hell I was like my calls were legit. Did you have any issues with it? My other umpire agreed with all my calls. She's like, no, but you could have been nicer to the girls. It's like, yeah, and you could have made me not drink milk for a whole fucking 45 minutes knowing I hate milk and was vomiting everywhere. She never talked to me again. Oh, I'm talking about the shitty food teacher I had in high school. Because uh, you brought up cheese and I said I don't like goat cheese. And I learned that because she made us do a cheese tasting one day and then uh, a milk tasting another day. Um... And she made me, she, she said she would fail us if we didn't try all the milk. Or all the, all the cheese. And she made me vomit. It was awful. And so I got my vengeance. The way an umpire should. <laughs> and I remember, like, my foods class, that was her first foods class at my high school. And she had come from working at a juvenile hall. So she felt like she had to be strict on us, but damn. We weren't even bad kids. Our period was super quiet. We all did our work. We answered her questions. Nobody talked out of turn. Oh, we were, that was like the best high school class you could have asked for. That specific third period class. And it worked out too, because at the time I had a boyfriend. And a lot of the shit she'd make us cook in there, I didn't like. Like uh, stuffed mushrooms, and I didn't like mushrooms. And so that period led into my brunch break. And so I would just meet up with my boyfriend and I'd give it to him. And then I'd go get brunch from the <laughs> school cafeteria. And I was right by my locker too. For the most part, throughout my entire high school period, the way my classes were set up, I would always pass by my locker. So it was so nice. Which was weird because my locker was kind of out of the way from everyone else's lockers. I guess it wasn't. It's just where the older lockers were. The ones that were run down. I still remember my high school combination. I'm not gonna say it out loud because I know last time I was there after I graduated high school, that was still a combination for that locker. <laughs> not that any of you would track down 
my locker at East Union. I don't remember the locker number, I just remember it was. No one's going to little old Manteca just to break into a high school locker. Yeah. I had some pretty fun times in high school. But I... When I went... When I was in high school, I would took JRTC instead of regular PE. And because of that, it helped me with some social anxieties and stuff. And I still have some of them, but... For the most part, um, I'm pretty comfortable talking, um, and I'm not as, like, reserved as I used to be, because I was a total wallflower. Um, and I never really got invited to parties growing up. I got- okay, that's not true. I got invited to one party when I was in high school, and it was a Halloween party at my bon a Halloween bonfire party that my friend said I couldn't bring my boyfriend to, and so- because of that, I said I wasn't going to go. And then my mom said, well, it doesn't matter because I wouldn't have let you go anyway. But I was so bummed. It was the first time I was ever invited to a high school party and I didn't go. After I graduated, I was invited to a ton of them because I, not only was I friends with a lot of people at my high school, but my brother was still in high school and I was friends with a lot of the people in his ROTC. Uh, because our house was the place where people um, would go to hang out or to get a safe spot or someone that was hungry would need food. Like, my mom had so many adopted kids while we were in high school that would just show up randomly, and I want to be a mom like that someday. That's how I ended up with, um... So, I talk about my adopted sister all the time. Me and her are super close. But I also technically had an adopted brother for a little while. Um, he lived with us for about six months. And then he went into the military. After he went into the military, he visited us once, and then we never heard from him again. The only time we ever hear from him is when he needs stuff from us. So, I don't really talk about him or think about him a lot. Um, and he's not a bad- or at least I don't think he is. When we- when I knew him, he wasn't a bad kid. Um, his focus in life was his girlfriend in the military. And then his girlfriend broke up with him. Uh, while he was stationed somewhere. Um, and then he got- honorably discharged, I think. But I haven't really talked to him, so in my head, he's not really my brother. Rose, my adopted sister, she lived with us for about a year, and she was always working to help my mom or keep the house clean or whatever, and she's super busy, so I don't get to talk to her often, but every time I need her, she finds a way to be there for me. And every time I plan a trip home to California, she's the first call I make, because I know she can drive and go see me, come see my mom, and all that stuff. I really love my adopted sister. And actually, she moved in with us while she was still in high school. So. Yeah, she moved in with us right before her senior year started? Or right after it started? And lived with us until the following November. And then she moved, into, uh, moved up to Oregon with one of... I can't say he was her boyfriend at the time, but that's where it was going. And now they've been happily together since. Now she's a, su a successful pharmacist. Which is why she's super busy and I never get to really talk to her. But I love her so much. Man, now I'm missing my family, y'all. It's Christmas! It's warranted, okay? Oh, okay. I also have a pretty fantastic sister-in-law. Which makes me feel so bad, because in the beginning... The way things went with my brother and my sister-in-law is... A couple days before my brother left to go to basic training, he brought this girl home and was like, this is my girlfriend now. And she seemed really sweet and all that. About a year later, he did his basic, he was at his first stationing. They got to see each other maybe two, three times, but they talked all the time. I didn't know this at the time. I get noticed that your brother's gonna propose to his girlfriend, like, their relationship has been pr pretty much cyber the whole time. And so I was very skeptical about it, and I know how much the military pr pushes marriage and stuff. But then I actually got to see them together in person, I was like, no, this 100% makes sense. And now whenever I go and visit them, I'm usually doing more stuff with my sister-in-law than I am my brother, honestly. I adore my sister-in-law. 
then we should say thanks to you. She was also, my sister-in-law was um, the female voice in yesterday's stream. She, for a very brief time when I was doing a podcast, she and I would did that together. And then we'd have like guests on once a week. That podcast didn't last very long. I just got too hard with all the... Because we started it during, co like, the beginning of COVID, I think. And so it was just one terrible thing after another, and it was just too much on my poor little heart, and I just couldn't anymore. And I've had the Lorax song stuck in my head yes uh, since yesterday because we were talking about that on stream. <laughs> the um, let it die, let it die, let it show up and die. Kitty kisses. Mwah. I'm all of a sudden feeling really tired. I have been streaming for an hour and a half. Well, I got to stream for two hours yesterday. Of course, I started later because I didn't get home until like six yesterday. I think. I left work at five. Yeah, so six. So I streamed. I don't know if that's right. Oh well. I streamed longer than I'm used to on the weeks, uh, weeknights. But I'm trying to stream, um, every day up until Thursday will be my last stream this week, because I'm gonna be Friday after work, I'm going out of town, and I won't be back until Sunday. So I might stream Sunday, but we'll see. All the way right through him! It should hurt this level 7! Oh, we're not talking because it's speech chat only. We can't type messages right now. That's right. Part of it. I thought that failed for a second. Heck no goggles! I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm, this song is gonna be playing. This little rhythm is gonna be in my head all night while I'm trying to go to bed. Ah, you miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. That's right. I'm a child. Drop a safe on your head, sir. Don't squirt him. I'm gonna kill him. Oh, you should have hit the other corporate raider. That cake's not gonna be enough. I stand corrected. I apologize. We did it! Where's the we did it? Oh, there it is. We did it. I knew it was in strategy. She completed the five-story cog buildings. I want to do that. I want to complete it. Can I be done now? Nice. Got my presentation back. Adios. And my comidas. Okay. Uh, another five story.
Flam Canyon. But Pajama Place. Okay. Tiffany, Gargoyle, and Tricky. All of us are trapless! Interesting! Let me grab some gags. Excuse me, cat. Yoshi! Y'all see that Yoshi in the bottom? What kind of species is Yoshi from Mario? He was always my favorite character to play as, besides Sheik and like um, Super Mario Brothers, or uh, the fighting one, Melee. Sheik to Zelda. Which game is it where she becomes Sheik? I played Wind Waker growing up. Or, I watched Zack play Wind Waker. That's what I was talking about yesterday, but, um... I've never really played a Zelda game for me. I don't- I don't like being the one to play. I like watching it, and then, like, with Breath of the Wild, it was too open-worldy for me. So I wasn't a big fan of that one, specifically. I know it was really popular, though. Zelda's one of those franchises, like, I like to watch game theories on, but no, not necessarily gameplay. Looking for Tiff. Did you just walk in that elevator? No, fuck off, dude. And she said, What about breakfast at Tiffany's? Taste. So there's an annex here. Um. I thought this was a building. Was um. oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I just did prepare for a field office. <laughs> oh wow, coming out swinging, huh? Coming out swinging. I'm with a bunch of cats. Damn, look at this dude's laugh. I'm like a baby here though. Ow! I forgot that was there. You know what sounds really great right now? Skittles. I want some Skittles. Or something fruity. <gasps> I have grapes! Oh god. I'm just doing the same stupid shit over and over again. Ugh, I guess I'm more tired than I realized. Work has been pretty draining. And tomorrow's stream is going to be short, just because it's Wednesday, and you guys know on Wednesdays I talk to my mom. Although she might postpone it, just because. No, no, I doubt it. Darn. What happened, Tiffany? I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany's? I shouldn't sing. I have such a shitty singing voice. And you know wanna you wanna know how I know? When I was like six or seven, my mom asked what I wanted to be when I grow up. I told her I wanted to be a singer. My mom granted she was a young mom, guys. My mom loud said, You can't be a singer, you have a shitty voice. My mom is all about encouraging your dreams, as long as they're realistic. Like when I told her I, I wanted to stream, um, She's like, okay, well, why do you want to stream? I was like, one, to stay connected with family back home. Because that's what originally streaming was for me. It was a way for me to play. I mean, I know you can play games with family, but we all had different systems. So it was a way for me to play a game that they're playing and talk to them while we play it. Um, <laughs> but, um, So that's how streaming started out for me. Um, but I really enjoyed it so much, and for me, streaming has never been about the money. Any money that I've ever made 
from streaming, which isn't a lot. I don't even think it's enough to pay for, like, a full tank of gas. I've used to, like, upgrade equipment. Like, the one and only payout I've ever gotten is bought this microphone and that webcam. So all the money I ever get from Twitch goes back into my streaming stuff. I've even put a lot of my own personal money into my streaming stuff. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and so when I told her that, she's like, well, do you want to make a living out of it? And I said, it'd be cool if I could, but I don't know if I would be happy, honestly, because, I mean, I, I feel like I'd be happy, but I'm the kind of person that I don't like to leave the house unless I have to, and work for me means that I have to. And so if I didn't have my office job, I'd never leave the house, which isn't healthy for a person, number one. And number two, I like the feeling I get when work is going good and when I'm on my A game. The praise that I get, maybe this just shows how deprived I was of praise growing up. Um, my mom got better as I got older, but uh, coming from a broken family with the traumas I suffered, I didn't get a lot of um, praise growing up. And so the fact that I get it, and I didn't even get it at my, the job I got out of high school. And my aunt was my boss. I got criticized a lot. Uh, and I felt like I was more, I don't think I ever was told good job when I worked in California. So the fact that I get that now, it's just so heartwarming for me. And so uh, that's why I love my office job so much. They're very careful about how they tell you when you fuck up and I appreciate that and they're very especially for me because I always own up to mistakes and literally like one of the first complaints my boss ever had about me is I apologize for everything because I that's that's how I, I grew up I had apologized for everything but it got to the point where she was noticing I was apologizing for shit that I didn't even do like I would take ownership of someone else's mistakes and she's like you cannot be doing that um but how did I get off this topic? Um, I get a lot of self-fulfillment out of my day job. So I don't know that if I had the opportunity to stream full-time, that I would. It sounds pretty cool and stuff, but at this point, like, I stream for me and nobody else. A lot of the times there's maybe one person or nobody in the chat with me, and I'm perfectly fine with that. There was a time when I would have like 18, 19 viewers in chat, uh, but that was a lot during my Jackbox days and a lot, I, or when I was just chatting. And the joy, that's when I learned the joys of being a female streamer. The, the endless messages I got about the colors, what, what color are your panties? Or can I request private pictures? I'm like, yeah, maybe being a full-time streamer is not something I'm ever going to want to do. And I feel like the smaller the community, the more I can know people on an individual level. And it's refreshing. It's actually how I met Belser. Um, and Belser is one of the sweetest people I've ever met. We both tuned in to um, Wu to Do's uh, stream for Overwatch. And then it turned out that we were both Overwatch Xbox console players that streamed. And so our friendship grew, and then we streamed together for like the next four months after that, and then we both got affiliate, and then we joined that team and that, and me, me and her talk like once every like six months now still, uh, because we're both busy, her with school and me with work and everything. But it's because of streaming that I met Belser, and through Belser, I met Persephone and Hades and all our other friends. So, for me, streaming has just become a way to make friends. Like, Evelyn, or Persephone, is my best friend, and I met her because of streaming. And I go to her house, she comes to mine, and it's just, yeah. So for me, that's what it's about, is just making friends, because I don't know how else to do it, because I am still, like, socially awkward, and I, I'm the kind of person that, if you need to start the conversation, but I'll be 100% involved if it's something I'm interested in. If you don't start the conversation, I'm gonna be awkward and try and start conversations and it's just gonna be awful. Like, my friends used to describe- uh, I remember when I was in high school, we were at a um, JCLC camp, which was just a high school version of a military boot camp for a week. And my commanding officer at the time, we were all talking about boys, because we were boy crazy, and there were six of us, so we were all 
we were playing this game, it's like, whoever gets the most no phone numbers doesn't have to do Firewatch or whatever. And it was part of them trying to help me flirt, because at that point, I don't think I'd ever had a boyfriend. And they knew I was interested in maybe having a relationship, but I hadn't found anyone I was interested in yet, I think. And so they made it their goal to teach me how to flirt that week. And my, I kid you not, my commanding officer at the time, after she saw me interact with a guy for the first time in a flirting instance, she looked at me and she said, you flirt like a potato. We are going to fix this this weekend. She never, no one's ever been able to fix it. You could ask my boyfriend. I suck at flirting. I, yeah. Now that we're dating, like, I can kind of, it's not really flirting. It's more like snarky, immature comments with a hint of sass. Um, but yeah, I don't flirt well. I forgot what point I was trying to make. Oh, so my flirting is bad. And my just normal conversational skills is just as bad. If you don't start the conversation, mostly. Hi, baby bear. We'll do one more building and then I'm gonna call it a stream, y'all. Teddy, baby. No, you just want the pizza. Mm -mm. Get back on the bed. Ugh, don't make me drop you, thank you. You, the way you leaned on my wrist there is gonna like give out, dude. Damn, that's a lot of merits. <sighs> All right. Big cheeses. And that's a four story. I need a five story. All right, one more. Five story in Fizzlefield Pajama Place, Headhunters. What group am I in? Oh, why haven't you closed this? Grab gags. Empty gag shop? Like gasp. One, two, three, one, two. Did I get booted? It was just banned. Why do people hate me? Why don't you do that? Okay, here's one in Splash 4. I don't like that you don't have- what the? Join group, just me. Splash board. I'm looking for a hula pop. Walrus way, that's the burr. What are you doing with the bird, Gary? Remember the Titans? That's such a good movie. Okay. I don't- I'm not the biggest fan of watching football, but football movies, man, they hit me right in the fields. The- fields? <laughs> fields. The Blind Side, Remember the Titans. Oh my god, those are some of the best movies. Man, now I want to watch the, both of those, and I have neither. Although I think Remember the Titans is on Disney Plus, if I can ever remember the password. I'm gonna eventually have to ask my aunt for it again. Oh, who am I looking for? Hula. Pop. I don't know where to watch The Blind Side, though. I have looked, and I can never find it. That's unfortunate. I don't know if The Blind Side, if it's The Blind Side, or if it was, um... Miss Congeniality was the first Sandra Bullock movie I'd ever seen, but oh, she's such a good actress. Oh, we all here? Cool. Although when I was really little, I used to get Sandra Bullock and Anne Hathaway confused, and I'm like, that's just- 
They're both amazing female actresses. That's just not nice. Aw, Teddy, you're laying at my feet. I am kind of pushed back far. I'm like doing this weird slouchy thing, which is great for my scoliosis, you know. I have to start wearing my back brace again soon. Drop a safe on that dude. Nice. <laughs> How did you get a Snapple bottle? You weirdo. I love that kid. We did it! Like this was the only floor. Why am I out of sync? I didn't even bow yet. Zach was here, I totally spam first. <laughs> We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship to explore the skies. Little Einsteins. What was the other one I used to sing along? I, I don't remember it anymore, but the Backyard Against theme song? I used to go around singing that a lot. Safe. Oh yeah, let's get all five tons. Let's go. Oh. So close. Oh, she's dropless, that's why. My bad. My bad, I'm sorry. I have that up on Tune HQ on my phone right here. What is happening? Oh, cool. Thanks, Facebook. Facebook's like, your time hop is ready. And I pull it up, and it's all the toxic messages that I got last year when I was playing uh, Overwatch on PC oh, no, like Xbox. Let's see. You salty or nah? Calm down, kid. Dude, it's comp. Join team chat at least. What the fuck? You're welcome for the carry. The Baptiste ruined you in healing for the wind. Uh, trash bag Moira. C9. And then this is just weird. I have my reasons. I have my reasons. Invite, please. Please. Hi. Join me, please. Hi. LOL. Try hard. I'm so glad I never touch my Xbox anymore. That's not true. I was watching my boyfriend play Witcher this past weekend. He uses that, that Xbox more than I do. Okay, I'm distracted. Oh, I put that away. I'm literally gonna end stream and just roll over onto my bed over there. That was one of the weird messages I got when I was in the Just Chatting stream. If I would ever do a sleep stream, and I just- I think those are so weird. Especially for me, who moves around a lot in my sleep. Especially if I'm wearing, like, a tank top, I've been known to, like, have my boob pop out of my shirt while I'm sleeping. So I'm like, yeah, that'll never happen for me. And I also, if I'm really tired, I snore. 
And if I sleep really hard, I drool and I wake up with a massive migraine. I also have insomnia. And I can't sleep if lights are on in my webcam. I have it so the settings will show uh, a green light if it's streaming and a red light if it's connected. And I don't want to take that off because, like, the other day I almost had an accident where I changed my outfit with the camera on. Thankfully I wasn't streaming, but I'm so paranoid about that stuff. But now I'm thinking, like, because of how my breakfast bar is, it's perfect setup for for cooking stream, and I want to so bad. Dun, 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 dun. I still don't know what I cook though. Probably do a cooking stream with my baked potato casserole. Maybe. <laughs> A big cheese One Direction bo boy band. Oh. Bye bye. Bye. Uh, last four, here we go. And I'm probably I should get a spinning star after this one. <laughs> Let's do it again. Roll it back. Is the bugle the best you got? Alright. <laughs> Foghorn didn't kill nobody? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to be worried! Oh, and they're both low. Rude! Don't hit my little mouse friend. Are we in high order again? We are! Look at us. Although I think the three of us are the same height, it's just our hats. You're hurt, let me do the healing. Oh no, she lured! Oh my god, they're so in sync. Trapless. Did I read that wrong? Mwah. Oh, that's a failed lipstick right there. Boom! TNT. Big cheese is now the burnt cheese. Ah, ah. <laughs> that was so not worth it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we did it! Dang, look at them stock notices. Alright, we'll end this. Oh, I was so close to getting the next sound. And they're so close to just being exactly a two hour stream. But I want to end this seeing how many buildings we got left. I'm wrapping up, Teddy. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna make it. 
Nope. I got one second before it's up two hours and a minute. My star's gone. Cogs must have taken over a building that I had beat. Okay. So next time, we need 69. Nice. Okay. Alright, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I should be back hopefully tomorrow. Probably with more Toontown. Because tis the season. Teddy, just a second. I'm ending the stream, sir. Thank you. Um, until then, you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. And I will see you all very soon. Bye!